Hi, my name is Peter DeLapp from the Professional Solutions Group here at NVIDIA. Today we're going to be talking about iRay and 3D Studio Max 2012 and how you as a mechanical designer can take advantage of this new technology we're developing called NVIDIA Maximus. Maximus is a Quadra GPU plus a high-end Tesla GPU in a workstation which gives you maximum compute power plus a higher level of interactivity which you're really going to enjoy. So let's take a look at exactly how Maximus does this. Let's say you're an inventor user and you want to render your design with iRay. And let's say I have this motorcycle, I ship it over into 3D Studio Max, as you can see here. And let's take a look at some of the new features that have been introduced into the Max 2012 Advantage Pack. So if we pull up on our Render Setup dialog, you'll see that there's this new rollout called Hardware Resources. In this little field down here called Allocate GPUs, you can see the CUDA devices that I actually have on this system. You'll see that there's a Tesla and a Quadro. And you'll also notice that the Quadro is not active at the moment. So when I hit the Render button, it's going to start rendering my image, but it's going to render only on the Tesla and the number of CPUs which I've allocated with this spinner right here but not the Quadro. So if I pop back into Inventor, let's say, you'll see that I can actually still interact with my Inventor model. If I wanted to continue to edit, I certainly could. And then when I'm done here, I could save my scene and go back into Max, and you'll see that my render is continuing on, and it hasn't bogged down my system in the least. You know that if you've tried this before with previous versions of Max, you wouldn't be able to switch back and forth between applications, and you certainly wouldn't be able to interact with the other applications. So this setup with a Tesla C2075 and a Quadro 6000 gives you up to nine times the performance of rendering on your CPU alone. So NVIDIA Maximus is particularly useful for the next feature that I'm going to show you, which is iRay Active Shade rendering. So for those of you who may be familiar with Active Shade, it's an interactive way to get quick feedback on your rendering. And in the 2012 Advantage Pack, iRay has been incorporated into it. So all I have to do is switch over to the Active Shade mode, hit the button, and I'm off to the races. And you can see that I've got a, a quick rendering here in this viewport. Now if I go and I change uh, the camera that I'm viewing the scene with, you'll see that I'll get an almost instantaneous update in iRay, which is entirely impossible in any previous version or any previous setup. If we go over to the Render tab again, you'll see that I, I've got the same controls. I can uh, allocate as many CPU cores as I like and whichever GPUs I'd like on the system. So right now, for maximum interactivity, I'm rendering only on the Tesla and doing my interaction with the Quadro. And I can change things like lighting or if I was doing a design session with a, an art director, let's say, or a creative designer and I wanted to play around with materials, I could change the colors on my model and get almost instantaneous gratification. Yeah, I can move my cameras around, zoom in, get the shot I like. Okay, so now that I've settled on my art direction, I've got the color that I want, the camera angle that I like, I'm gonna kill my active shade window and switch back to production mode and go to my Renderer tab, go to the Hardware Resources rollout, and add back in my Quadro GPU, because I don't need the interactivity anymore. I need the compute speed, the rendering speed. Uh, dial up my quality a little bit, make it a thousand iterations, something like that. Hit the Render button, and we're off to the races. A render like this before Maximus would probably have taken, oh, up to eight hours to calculate a high resolution, high quality frame. But with Maximus, it's gonna be done in under an hour. So with NVIDIA Maximus, you get increased productivity with better power efficiency at a very attractive price point. In fact, a Tesla C2075 costs about half what a Quadro 6000 costs. So if you're a creative user, and you're looking to future-proof your workstation purchases, uh, for maximum productivity, Maximus is definitely the way to go.